living a life that you've desired. You're living a life that you've constructed and created for yourself. And it brings so much joy to you to be able to be of service to others. And you have abundance in your heart, but you also have abundance in your finances. And rising beloved human. Hello, hello. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. And thank you for joining me on today for your Friday, Tri Daily tarot reading we made it to the weekend so this is your tri-daily tarot for friday march 22nd i've already blessed my decks of cards we're going to go ahead and get started to see what spirit needs you to know beloved human on your way into the weekend if you missed any of the well that's that if you missed any of the tri-dailies this week i will link it in the cards as well as the description. Okay, I have two. I have two. I'm going to take them both. Adjustment. Looking back, moving forward. Wings of light. Becoming something new. I see a lot of swift motion here in this wings of light. Um, moving towards something swiftly. This is you, beloved human. As well as this. So, adjustment. Looking back, moving forward. Hmm. And then we have the wisdom of the owl, right? So I feel like this is telling us we have to take a look at our past in order to understand where we're going as we move forward. That's what I'm feeling from this card. All right, let's get some tarot to get clarification and understanding for you, beloved human. Divine Spirit, do tell. Okay. Adjustment and Wings of Light. That Wings of Light, I feel like you're moving towards something to be of service, beloved human, in some form or fashion. And, and it feels like Something from your past will help you to be of service. All right. That is, this is your challenge. The seven of cups. Subconsciously, ace of swords, past. I have to bring all of this down. You're conscious. Near future. Mm, wow. We're going to leave the final outcome turned down. All right. So, Looking back to move forward, wings of light, uh, becoming something new. Something from your past is going to help you to move forward. Beloved human, there is an experience there. You have skills uh, that you've learned previously that will help you to move forward in your life. And hopefully we'll get more clarification on where this is going. But I'm definitely feeling like it's something of service to others, beloved human. But your challenge is it's so many choices. You have a lot of choices in front of you on what to do and you need to, it's feeling confusing right now for you. So it's like, I can't choose, so I won't choose at all. So it's, so I, I'm feeling some sort of procrastination. Like you've already known you have to make a choice about something. Like you had an unction, an inkling, a poking at you. And it's like, it's so many choices and I can't choose. It's overwhelming. So I won't choose at all. It feels like procrastination. Spirit's here to help you. Um, in your recent past, you were, yeah, this is again pointing, what did it say? Uh, looking back. So in your recent past, you had some sort of 
particular area of study is what I'm feeling. So Spirit is letting you know what you studied recently, whether it was just a certification, a diploma of some sort, or was a full-on degree, that is the use for you. That is what you're going to do. That is that information and knowledge uh, gained. When you apply it, you become wise, and the wise ones are able to help us and be of service to human beings, right? Beloved human. So subconsciously, we have the Ace of Swords. There may be a little bit more that you have to learn about this specialty that you've uh, studied, right? And that's okay. I'm not feeling like it's it's more years of education. I'm feeling like it's just a a quick um, quick study course where you earn a uh, accredited certification. It's nothing like you know a six or eight week course but it is necessary it's what i'm feeling for you and then consciously yes this is where you more things are revealed for you you are you will be better able to make the decision because more will be revealed to you it's it's like which way to go like we're finding out it was something in your recent past it's coming to your remembrance into your consciousness and now you understand which way to go and how to be of service with what you have learned very recently through some sort of education and then in your near future you have the ten of cups moment this is beautiful because this tells you beloved human that you are living a life that you desire you're living a life that you've constructed and created for yourself and it brings so much joy to you to be able to be of service to others and you have abundance in your heart but you also have abundance in your finances just because you have certain gifts and talents that are to be used uh it, as service to others doesn't mean you have to be broke. We don't have to live without possessions. And so what I am feeling for you, you are absolutely abundant. You are absolutely transforming lives. You are helping people to renew their lives by the work that you do. And your, your power... I feel like with this five of cups for you, beloved human, where this seven of cups has is is your issue. You're also feeling like because you can't make the decision, it feels overwhelming. You have a little bit of disappointment in yourself. Give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. You have, I feel like your options are definitely dwindling down, being revealed to you. And it's going to be less difficult to make your choice, right? And then with the external influences happening for you, beloved human, you almost feel like giving up. And you can't. You can't give up. And I'll just have to move on to the next card. You cannot give up. Because look what happens. You feel like giving up. Like this is just too much. I cannot figure it out. You feel like um, there's no way I can get this right. But look, you've come from seven cups to five cups. Now you're down to four cups, which is really one cup. Your choice is being, um, your choice is being shown to you. The universe is conspiring to see you win. So the universe has helped you single out the road and path to take. And you see why, because it brings you to the ten of pentacles i just got finished telling you beloved human just because you have talents and gifts and skills that are meant to be of service to help other people better their lives it doesn't mean you have to be broke and here spirit showing you ten of pentacles abundance in finance and material wealth okay that I just told you that you can have you can be full of love and compassion and be of service and you will also make a great income from this as well. Let's see what the final outcome is. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. The final outcome is Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles Queen of Pentacles is nurturing. 
Queen of Pentacles is compassionate. So you're nurturing and compassionate in your life of service from the knowledge you've gained from past education, some new stuff coming in for certification education wise. So you're able to help and be of service and nurture others. And guess what? Queen of Pentacles is also abundant with her finances and her home is beautiful. She is healthy herself so that she is able, and this is male or female, don't mind the she here. Don't mind the sheet pronoun. It's male or female, right? However you identify coming to this Queen of Pentacles energy and you are embodying, nurturing, um, compassion, caring, taking care of home, abundance in finance, abundance in wisdom. This is you, beloved human. This is where you're going. Carry this with you into the weekend. Because you made it to the end of the video. It was absolutely for you. Thank you so much. I hope it has resonated with you and has helped you make some decisions in one way or the other. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I will see you soon. But until then, bye-bye.